Rita, thank you. Welcome to BBC London on the programme this evening. Also coming up on the programme. Good evening, thanks for joining us. I'm Lakshmi Gopal. Police searching for the Clapham attack suspect, Abdul Shakur Azadi, have recovered two bodies from the River Thames, but neither of them are related to the missing case. The police's marine unit began searching the river over the weekend. They believe Azadi went into the water at Chelsea Bridge, where our reporter Megan Owen is for us this evening. Megan, what's the latest? Police were called to a school in Eltham where students fell ill after it's believed they smoked a vape spiked with an illegal drug. Five teenagers needed hospital treatment and one of them had to be put into an induced coma. Leila Hayes is here for us now. Leila, what more can you tell us about this? Well, what we know is that the officers were called to the school in Eltham. And Leila, what have police said about this particular case? Well, they say that an investigation is now under... <laughs> Hundreds of people are at risk of losing their driver's licence after claiming they were wrongly fined for speeding on a section of the A20 on the Kent-London border. That's according to a solicitor representing the drivers. That was Nick Johnson reporting. Now, take a look at this. This is London's super sewer. It runs under the River Thames and is nearly 16 miles long. The Thames Tideway Tunnel, to give it its official name, begins testing in a few months' time. It'll eventually connect 34 storm overflow drains and take the sewage to be treated at a works in East London. Tom Edwards has been for a look around. Plenty more to come here on BBC London this evening, including... But before that, gas lamps like these have been lighting up London streets for decades, with some of them actually dating back more than 200 years. Now, four of them close to the Theatre Royal in Covent Garden have been given protective status. That's after the council wanted to convert them to brighter electric lights. But campaigners are worried that others could be lost, as Thomas McGill has been finding out. What an inspiration Jack is. That was incredible. Well, let's have a look at the weather forecast with Corsa. Corsa, it was uh, flying weather today, wasn't it? Because it was very spring-like. It was lovely, wasn't it? Dry and bright, but it's all set to change, I'm afraid, likes me. Yes, unsettled weather. On so, brollies at the ready. Thank you, Corsa. Now, let's just remind you of the main headlines. We go to our Instagram page to see some highlights of the best pictures from the Lunar New Year celebrations at the weekend in the capital. Just search for BBC London. That's about it from me for now. I'll be back with your late news at 10.30 tonight. But for now, from all of us here, have a very good evening. Goodbye.